Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to help head out to productions and get some great deals on video games. Not only that, but the show is also available in podcast form. That link is also down below. Now is not the time. Continue. Okay. So, Marcel, you are Dude, going we ran to out take. Of an hour. You're, so, you head down the fork, uh, right or left. Wait. Okay. So, it's so like. You went down the fork on the left as you were going to that fork. You made a clank, but you're at that fork now, right or left. Oh, okay. Um, Left. Left. Okay. All right, so you come to you come to another fork, right or left? Right. Right. All right. You take a right, but as you take that right, you see it's a dead end. B, make a body save. Yay! I thought the last one was the last one. Unfortunately, it was not. I I honestly thought it would be, but it was not. Does that mean oh. we're close? <laughs> oh, is that was that seventeen one your your next body save? Yeah. All right, you're down to one. Oh. Okay, Marcel, you're at a dead end. You got to go backwards. So you go backwards and you take that left, and you see foe. Which, of course, I'm going to as quickly as possible, but without being a fucking ape about it, get over to him to wrap the trench coat. Okay, so you're going to fold up the trench coat similar to how you did the Yes, mask, I'm going to immediately. put it come. over B's face. Mm -hmm. And you can see that that you can see that foe isn't really doing so hot. He's convulsing a little bit. Yeah. He's having problems. I but... can see that he's alive and that's the main thing I notice and that's yeah. what it's like, okay, cover he, you now to get you foe out. Foe is alive and because of your intervention will no longer be taking damage. So, okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Foe is safe. Yay. Now, how the fuck do we get him out? Uh, good question. Does anyone remember hey, the route we took in here? <laughs> hey, Marcel, do you remember how you got out? <laughs> hmm? Do you remember how to get out? No. Okay. See for uh, knowledge. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> Uh, use the super brain cells. I was going. I was going to say that'd be like a okay. Let's see how well I can remember this. But obviously, me as a person would not be able to remember. All right. Well, the next challenge is to drag foe out. Of here. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Um. Luckily, your your masks are holding up, so you're not having any problems there. So. Yeah, I guess I gotta have you guys. I, I'm gonna have you guys roll. Um, get out of the vent. Okay, so Marcel, roll strength. Because Fo is a horse, and horses are heavy. Fo is an average weight Tony pony. <laughs> That's not horrible. It's above my average. That's not horrible. That's not bad. Uh... Wait, your your strength is three, right? Yeah. It's times two. Oh yeah. Then. Wait, what? It's a three times two. That's your strength score. Roll three. So, yeah. Whenever you're rolling something that isn't a skill. Like, and in your secondary attributes, you just multiply yeah. that by two, I think. Or, like, no, if you just, if you're just straight up your primary attributes, you multiply that by two. All your prime attributes, like body, dex, strength, charisma, intelligence, willpower, times two. Yes. Got it. So I'd be, I'd roll a six? 
Uh, yes, roll six. Wow. Four. Nice. Nice. So, uh, you do not have any problems with the extra weight of foe. Uh, so you're dragging him, and because of... I'm just gonna hand wave it. Foe's natural, stealthy exterior. Uh, he's not making much noise. As I'm dragging him, meanwhile, <laughs> the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards! Well, yeah. Basically. Well, Coming out of foe's, this... un foe's unconscious. Like, wh what's foe gonna do? Aside from, you know, convulse. I say he's convulsing! And convulse occasionally. <laughs> uh... I'm surprised nobody's rolled. I, you know what? I'm actually just gonna have you roll for it since we hit a since we hit a lull in the action. I'm gonna have you roll perception. I'm perception. What me? No. Uh, no, he, he he was dramatically pointing at me. IRL. Uh, that's okay. I... Uh, I have to keep like rechecking my perception. Me, me and Maddie out here have been been doing anything for a while. Wow. Mm. Three, wow. Okay. So, all right. So, Marcel, you take a moment to catch your breath as you look at B and or as you look at foe. Oh. God, as you as you look at foe and, you know, start to just calm down. You saved his life. He's not going he's he won't die. You you know that. So you take a second to kind of gather your thoughts and just clear your head. And as you do, the cacophony of the panic that's happening downstairs hits you. And you realize that the, the floor below you is basically in pandemonium. Like ponies yelling, stuff getting thrown... Things are falling. Like, it, it's a disaster down there. I knew this was <laughs> <happen. God laughs> you the It's always high. And you can't, you can't see it, but you can sure as hell hear it. Can the people outside hear it? Uh, can I roll perception? That makes sense, perception. Yeah, okay. Lydia, roll perception. Because utter uh, pandemonium. No, uh, actually, yeah, butter, butter, butter feathers too. Okay. Well, if it's absolute pandemonium, like That's I'm a... too nervous about photo notice. Yeah, you, you're 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 very much consumed by perception. Worry. Six. Yeah. What do I roll to keep my cool in this situation? Uh, four. No, uh, roll the four. You'd roll willpower. Well, cool. What does a one do? <laughs> A one in willpower. Oh, one in willpower. Uh, yeah, basically, willpower. okay. So you get two to roll. Two to roll. Okay, cool. You, you have two skills. To, you have two points to roll. Uh, Octi, four. Well, yeah, keeping my Betty cool. is keeping it together. Betty is just barely. Just you can hear barely. A lot reading, though. Just yeah. yeah. Uh. Anyway, Eddie what, could what, not hear the commotion over the breathing. <laughs> Lydia, on the other hand, can definitely hear something. Lydia hears something out of the corner of her vision as she's sitting up against the wall. And wait, just what? Waiting. Here's something out of the corner of her yeah, vision. I, I was, How high is she? I was about to <laughs> have I been inhaling some of these fumes coming out of the vent here. I Man, could, I mean, high to be fair, fair, you are all very I can close. see is Martians. <laughs> to be fair to be fair, you are very close to that vent. <laughs> I'd like to note that actually Betty has put her hat Yeah, over but I'm in the open air. Yeah, no, I, I I saw that. I you're, you're so fine. Lydia's the only one not protected right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia's starting to see some shit. That would be a little bit. She uh, hears something I out hear? of her vision. <laughs> that would be a little unfair. Lydia's okay. feeling a slight buzz, but is still fully in it. Dude, I'm in the she open to, like, air. Come on. Thought. 
fucking just like, shut up, figure this out with the corner of my vision. Yeah, just like, a kind of a weird thought passes through her brain, and she's just like, oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> so she, she puts her ear up to the siding of the warehouse, and she can make out basically what sounds like a war zone to her. <laughs> like, things are crashing, people are screaming, there's and all over and there's crashes of it, it's basically it's just a mess it I sounds like a mess to, i call over to betty hey betty huh sounds like pandemonium in there yeah that happens when there's a salt explosion what <laughs> what <laughs> betty, does betty does indeed know betty does indeed know betty understands exactly what happens during a salt explosion she's seen it a couple of times in some of the but i want to i want to make sure that my duction is clear it's not just me like metagaming no betty you would... know betty no, knows. but i'm saying betty would know because there wouldn't just be salts in the vents unless there was an explosion you know <laughs> they don't just throw good product away like that no exactly <laughs> What's well, so a hotboxing, but there wouldn't be that much for a hotbox. Why would the fuck would they hotbox on their own supply? Well, Betty. no, Betty, you, you saw, Betty, you when you looked at the vent, you saw the purple smoke, and you know yeah. from your, from, it's unrefined too, right? Yeah, you know yeah. from your experience. So even experience, if a guy was hotboxing his room, he wouldn't use unrefined shit. <laughs> Betty, hmm. could we use this? What do we use this? <laughs> like, as a distraction. It's pretty fucking distracted now, but we might be distracted too if we go in there. Ooh. This might complicate things. Oh, it has. Okay. Um, Marcel. To make things a little easier, I am going to have you roll. Well, at least they probably can't hear me. I'm what thinking I to have myself. You roll? Actually, I mean, what what do you think you should do? Mm -hmm. What do you think you should do? I'm still trying to just make my way out, figure out the way I I came, trying to backtrack. All right, I'm gonna have you roll survival. Really? Specifically, I'm gonna have you roll survival in aspect to uh, navigation. Huh. Well, it's my average. Uh, uh, I lost it. Okay, I'm here. One. Yeah, it's my average. Just two. Okay, well, because... Okay, so, Marcel is trained in... Survival warfare. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I am. Training. <laughs> because training. <laughs> Marcel does know... Marcel does know his way around a bush. But not so much a metal vent. <laughs> However, no, he does have a, a decent idea just because he knows where he's going. So it's going to take him a little time, but he can make it work. So, mm -hmm. Marcel, you are going to, at, to the best of your ability, follow the like, trail. Like, I might take a couple wrong turns, but. You're going you're gonna to try to follow the trail of dust that, like, the, the clearing of dust that you made as your body kind of scooched along the air duct mm. to try and get out of the vent. Just but looking for the clearing of, of dust on the walls for my thick ass cheeks rubbing against <laughs> Uh, uh let's see. Which periodically throughout going through the Well, the I'm vents... gonna have you roll Hmm What should I have you roll for this? But throughout <laughs> going through the vents, I've been, like, under my breath, like, whispering, like, things to Foe. That's just what I'm accustomed to doing to calm patients, even though he's passed out. Yeah, just, like, it's alright, think you'd be able to roll okay. Will at least one more time, try to get a hold of the thing. I don't know, Will or body, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, okay, yeah, I'm buddy. trying to figure out, um... Like, not so you wouldn't okay, so basically. Just... Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have I'm trying to have Foe regain some consciousness. I think I'm gonna have you roll That'd be a will, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have you roll will. Because will is what you did for the passing of the Yeah, owl. that was the yeah. So uh foe roll will. 
Two. It's the same role as body, honestly. Two. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So. All Honk. right. So foe. Uh, yes. You you can just barely out of the out of the corner. Uh, you can just he you can just barely hear out of the corner of your vision the. <laughs> The, what? <laughs> you can barely hear the the words, conk. <laughs> conk. <laughs> Muttering and, and, in his and, sleep, I hear him say conk. And Fo Fo audibly mutters conk as he, and then I just kind and of followed by a very small convulsion as he passes back out. <laughs> I, I I I raise an eyebrow, but keep moving, and just go. Well, he's pretty okay if he's able to do that. All right, so Marcel, you eventually make your way back outside. Uh, the rest of the party is there, safe and sound. Which Nothing the, of note has happened. Yeah, which the minute I get him out, like and on the ground, I immediately go to like medical. Like, okay, what do I have to do here? Yes. Like help okay. Him. So, so is he outside? So yes, Foe is outside with Marcel. Marcel has gone up to the vent and picked Foe up out of the vent using his not unconsiderable strength to take the the quote unquote pony and put him on the ground and begins preparing uh, to treat Foe. So that's so that's where we're at. Okay. E. Chains of horse. So, when you were in there, did you hear anything? Sounded like fucking pandemonium in there. That's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I know. Those are my exact words. We are so in sync. We That's are so in sync. <laughs> oh my god, let's say our, say our fear of dinosaur at the same time. <laughs> god. Um. Okay, so Marcel, you say you say that you want to try to uh, medically help Bo. Yeah. All right. Based on my knowledge of what would be best for him in this scenario, kind let, of. Let thing. me see the. It's knowledge medicine, right? I have not. I have knowledge med. Uh, medical. Okay, you have knowledge medical. What is your medical score? Like Where your actual. Medicine? My medicine score six. Medicine score of six. Huh. Okay. So. All right, so you want to use uh, knowledge medical? Yeah, to see what would be the best for him in in this scenario and everything like that. What, what I have like for any for any person? drug overdose type of situations I've been in before, and seeing what I need to do for him. Uh, what, what what was that, Eddie? What I have streetwise knowledge of what to do for a OD salt on specifically guy? salts. Betty would. So I've dealt with ODs, but maybe not specifically on salts. Well, that's that's kind of the thing. You would probably know how to symptomatically treat somebody who is ODing, regardless of what it is. Yeah, Betty might have more better colloquial knowledge. Mm. Where you would have like it's salt, oh, but it sprinkles some salt pepper. Causes a <laughs> salt, get the pepper. A salt overdose causes asphyxiation. In uh, causes asphyxiation and could lead to hypoxia. Whereas Betty might know. Oh, you have to like, you gotta like lift the guy upside down so any residues can kind of get coughed up with the phlegm that forms. So is that head. is that true? Uh, no, I'm just thinking about it, but I might, turn, I might turn that into cannon. <laughs> so I was gonna say, I'm, Betty's gonna fucking grab him by the fucking legs, hoist him up against the wall. I mean, I'm the one with strength. I'd probably be the one to do that oh, if that's no, what I need to do. It's free as hell to try. So, okay. Marcel, uh, because of, because we're not in a stressful situation, you are able to pull on your medical knowledge, and you understand 
uh, that salts causes hypoxia mm-hmm. through asphyxiation when you overdose on it. It constricts the breathing to the point that no oxygen is able to get to anywhere else in the body. So in order to alleviate that, you figure that CPR is probably the best option, but first you need to check that foe is breathing and not in any danger. Mm -hmm. So you do that and foe roll body. Yay. What do Hmm. I know? Betty, you know that Ooh, nice. you know for a fact that you know for a fact that foe is displaying the very beginning symptoms of a salts overdose. So it's so kind of like how you get a sniffling note, like you get a cough before getting the whole coronavirus. Basically, like. You know that Foe is showing the very beginning symptoms of a salts overdose. Mm-hmm. That's what you know right now. So that means he's going to OD no matter what, or he would OD if he kept taking it. That'd be my knowledge. Wouldn't that, it? Mm, yeah, that's going to be resource. That's going to be actually. I will street wise. I'm going to have both of you roll against each other. I'm going to have. Does it really know, matter know. which one of us knows? Well, okay, this is the thing. But what would both, each of us know? Both situations fight? have a remedy to this. Betty knows that. Betty understands that Foe is showing the very beginning symptoms of an overdose, whereas you know that he is overdosing. Yeah, it's like it's going into hypoxia. I need to do CPR. Yes. I don't you know really care right now on anything Betty else other than is. I need to do CPR. I don't need to be focusing on this or that. I want to make sure I'm giving him the CPR and the yes. treatment he needs. So I'm going to have you both roll. Uh, Marcel, you roll medical. Yeah. Wait, am I, am I uh, the knowledge medical? Huh? knowledge medical? Knowledge medical? Knowledge medical. Betty got a four? Uh-huh. That's above I have to Good. Nice. Okay, I have to yeah. look at what my knowledge was again. Can okay, Lydia roll? Wow. You got nothing. <laughs> oh. Okay. So Marcel. Uh, a load Lydia... of horse shit when I have all this fucking knowledge. Hey, can look, the Lydia dice roll? unfortunately, Marcel, you under you the most you know that is that uh is that uh foe is in Overdose. Of but unfortunately, because you, you haven't had much experience just barely breathing through the claw. Specific, <laughs> you don't know a way to counteract that and can only treat symptoms. Can I roll? Mm-hmm. Uh, Lydia, what are you trying to roll? I got a four in medical. That's yeah. not what we're doing. We're doing. Like, yeah, we're not rolling. We're doing. Medical. We're, yeah, we're not doing medicine. We're doing you knowledge. To, you would have to have knowledge in medical. Yeah, I have knowledge medical. Okay. Once we figure out a solution, you can actually. I it. like otherwise medicine has to do with like treating something. Okay, butter feathers, which I'm proficient. So, in. big brain. You you see that foe is in the very beginning stages yes, of a salt overdose. We've said that five yeah. times. Oh my god! Shut up. Let me speak. The very beginning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be a meme now. It's gonna be a meme. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the. Uh, you see it out of the corner the of your vision. Of a salt overdose. <laughs> this is the new. This is the new meme. Is that? Is, uh, did I do it? Did I meme <laughs> okay, right? Okay, Foggers. Okay. Salters. This is your knowledge, Roll right? It for salt. But you also, you also know that because these are the early stages of the overdose, it can be counteracted. You've With? seen this you've seen this before, and you know an kinda on the streets back alley solution for this. What you what you know is that there is a way to counteract salts in the system before it becomes lethal. That being and that's that would be ammonia. Pneumonia. Ammonia. Ammonia. What the fuck's ammonia? Ammonia? It's the it's the chemical in urine. And it's, it's, time it's, to stop. it's the chemical. <laughs> it's time to stop. It's the chemical stop. in urine, and is also used in industrial cleaners. 
I wish like Windex and stuff. You could look at the most disappointed look on my face of just we're not gonna have to do this, are we? Can I I'm, I'm not into a Marashi golden shower shit. Can we, uh, can we I ask propose the bar we over skip. there if they have anything? Uh you could. <laughs> don't be, don't Instead be, of don't pissing be. on foe, Betty's I, gonna look, drive okay. a, a I, bottle of Windex out of her pocket because I'm not doing this golden shower uh, bullshit. Would my surgery kit have any? Your surgery kit would not have ammonia. Ammonia is an industrial cleaner. You would probably have alcohol. Yeah. I know I'd have alcohol. Yeah. Just, please. So... You know what? For for all intents and purposes, in this universe, ammonia is not present in urine. I was going to say, because in... I'm the only male horse. Yeah. So. That is not a thing in this universe. That is not a thing. The only place you can get it is in cleaner. And Betty, what you know is that if somebody overdoses on, on, uh, on salts, the people around them would go get like the household cleaner and pour it down their throats. <laughs> and that would neutralize the that would neutralize the salt particles that gets caught in the respiratory system. Or well, like at the very top of the respiratory system and would help mitigate the absorption of the salts. So, so that to... that is what you know. Wait a minute. We have cargo here. <laughs> What? There's a bunch of cargo things, right? Yeah. What, what does that have this? to do with what's going on right now? Okay, we need Windex. And to pour Ooh. that down his gullet quick before he ODs. That'll kill what? him anyway. This is, this is how you count an Exaltor, I was saying, okay? I have no time to explain. I have no time to explain Look, why I'm I have no time doctor. to explain. Wait, is it... What, what is... What about the cleaning product? It, the ammonia? The what? <laughs> I, the, the, never mind. Never mind. Okay, you. I'm gonna say if, you, you know. You know. Drugs more than you I just. Do. You just know. You just know that. Oh, cl cleaner fluid. Yeah, to put that down their throat. That'll help. You know more about drugs than I do. All right. I once had this tweaker buddy. His name was well, Jesse. You, he poured you... cleaner down his buddy's throat before he died of overdosing. <laughs> Okay, uh, you go do that. I'm going to work on the CPR. Would the yeah, bar yeah, sure have ammonia? Because I need to keep his symptoms down, so if you have a way of, of remedying this, I can treat the symptoms for now to help him along. Well, it's also a rumor that you can fix it by pissing down his throat, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that either. I think he'd kill me if we did that. The universe frowns at the implication. <laughs> the universe is mad. Okay. Like you go, you go try to find cleaner. Otherwise, I need to work on the CPR. You know, some freaking windows. Lydia, win Lydia heads towards the bar. Uh, without tell. Okay, Lydia heads towards the bar. Okay, she Lydia a Okay, she says the bar might have ammonia. I'm. I'll be back and heads that way. You check that. I'm gonna check these crates. I'm gonna check the crates. Okay. So, we're gonna start with Butterfeathers. Butterfeathers! Crazy. So, you are a skilled searcher, thanks to your streetwise knowledge and investigative skills. I will you have eyes! Use them! <laughs> Observe your surroundings! <laughs> Wasn't that yes. funny? It was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny, considering the fact it's from a fucking horse video. Betty <laughs> has special eyes. I have special eyes! Betty! My little springy mag thing uh, for my magnifying glass pops out of my coat and adjusts itself over my eye. Betty has a fantastic idea what to do. Roll for uh, investigation. Search. Wait, search? Well, invest. It's a part of investigation. Yeah, that's what like, we serve. So I'm uh, just gonna add this on top of it. It's nothing. One, two, three, four, four. It's basically average. Average. Yeah. Okay. But it's still pretty good. So four, and that uh, you have the magnifying glass, right? Doesn't that give you a plus? 
Like the magnifying, I do have a magnifying glass. So. Doesn't the magnifying glass give you a plus? I just added this flavor text. There, I don't think it's like an actual item. I just added it because it's like a thing. All right. I was well, dreaming about Pepsi Mare. Um, Pepsi, Pepsi Mare. Pepsi Mare. Pepsi Mare. There is no equivalent for Conk. It's just he's on drug. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Be the, so. Um, Playing for Eddie. Mm -hmm. You know that one of these crates has got to have some cleaner in it. So you go over to the first crate you see and you kind of gnaw at the, the handle just to get it open. You fling the crate open and out pops a bunch of rubber ducks. Fuck! <laughs> you, you you know you were on the right path, but rubber ducks. So what are you going to well, do? Hey, look, okay, look, cleaning objects are using in a bathroom. What else is in a bathroom? Rubber ducks. It's got to be in this area. It's probably shipping to a bedroom. It's got to be! Beyond. <laughs> You get a plus two on your next roll, goddammit. <laughs> it has to be it! Gotta All be. right, Hunter. Um, Lydia, uh, so you reach the bar, and as you get to the bar, you bust through the door, and you just very quickly, you just stop in the doorway, and you yell, Hey, bartender! I need cleaning stuff! The bar goes silent. <laughs> and the bartender just kind of bug-eyed stares at you like, Huh? <laughs> Are you robbing me? What? what? No. I need cleaning things. I, 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 I take all my money. Just anything. <laughs> Throws the register across the rest. <laughs> No, what is wrong with this man? He's just leaving you at this point. <laughs> this one guy's like, oh, come on, a rapper is in my drink again. Um, Lydia, Lydia roll in tight. Lydia ignores this and goes to the back to try and find the linen closet. No, 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 Lydia roll in sight. Okay, uh, what was my insight? Yeah. Let me see. Four. Four. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah so, so Lydia takes a second and pauses as the <laughs> as the <laughs> the cash register comes flying and lands like two feet away from her. And she thinks back to what she said as she got into the place and she said, yeah, give me the cleaning supplies. <laughs> <laughs> and then she she thinks back cleaning clean. Clean, clean. He thinks you're robbing him. <laughs> <laughs> so the bar the bartender is cowering and inching towards the phone. You know, that's a nice like environmental storytelling, just showing how much this guy's fucking been robbed. Because you don't even need to roll intimidation, just not another fucking mob. <laughs> <Not> another one. <laughs> <laughs> I My just got robbed sisters. this morning. Right, I just so wanted Windex. The bartender has thrown his cash register at you and is cowering while inching towards the phone. Uh, what do you do? What? No, I don't want your money. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What? It... Yeah, you do. You, you clean. You said. You said. You said. Windex. A, a what? Windex. Is that is that some sort of torture? No. <laughs> you gonna throw me out the window? You gonna throw me at the window? You gonna clean me out? You gonna, you gonna clean my clean? I, 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 like I do more. He grabs closet. the phone. He, like, he lunges towards the phone. Wait, wait, gonna... wait, 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 wait. Do you have like a broom closet or something? Oh, why, you gonna stuff me in it? No! In he, like, holds up his sort of stuff me in the broom closet. <laughs> the worst part is, I knew this shit would happen when I walked over here. Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> I wanted it to. <laughs> so he's, so the bartender is freaking out. His hoof is on the phone, and he's, uh, he's prepared. He's gonna lift it up, and he's gonna do it. What do you do, Lydia? Uh... I I I I I give the cash register back. Okay. 
All right. So, Lydia, in a, in a moment of pure genius, <laughs> you, you throw your hooves up, and the bartender stares at you, still holding the phone, but obviously taking it back at you surrendering instead of him. And you slowly back up, and you go over to the cash register and roll strength. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I have two, so uh, roll four. Uh, yes, roll four. Okay. Okay, and you you pick up the cash register with moderate amounts of effort. You're kind of straining at it, but you just kind of... Eh, 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 and just plop it on the counter in front of him and kind of readjust it. And, and just and after you're done getting it readjusted in front of the guy who is still Adrenaline staring at you bug-eyed with his hoof on the phone ready to call the cops, you just tap the cash register and stand there innocently. Nobody's robbing yet. Oh. <laughs> he takes, oh. His the, takes his hoof off the phone. Now, do you have a broom closet? Yeah, it's oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> you just embarrassed now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's... Everyone else in the bar is just like, what the f***? The, 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 rest of the, the rest of the patrons, some of them still... Like halfway through sipping, <laughs> just stare at you, unmoving. You imagine the regulars are just like, God, I'm amazed how he manages to throw that thing every time. <laughs> every time? You know, the mouth here really Yeah, through. every time he thinks he's being robbed, how he can chuck that thing with ease, and they're like, God, that guy's adrenaline is insane. <laughs> you gotta you gotta think the bar outside of a mafia headquarters is the one that gets robbed a lot. You so, know, those mafia guys really clean their act up. This is the first time in six months they haven't actually robbed the place. <laughs> and they're getting they're lulling him with false sense of security, and he knows it. He knows well, he's just waiting. They're gonna burn his house down. <laughs> I like to think optimistically. <laughs> so, Lydia, you go into the back of the restaurant and uh, you attempt to find the ammonia in a cleaner. Roll, uh. Reading. <laughs> it's like read the back of oc an oxygen. Roll bottle. literacy. How about no, perception? that would be Poe. Po would have to roll literacy. Yeah, Poe yeah. would have to roll literacy. Like, How yeah, about that looks right. Uh, mm, he actually gets pneumonia. <laughs> I'm gonna say, well, okay. Roll. In order to find the ammonia, you're going to have to roll investigation. Okay, I have a five in there. That's not too bad. Fuck! You got one. Okay, so Hunter, Lydia, as you go to the back of the restaurant, you see you see a door. And without hesitating, you fling the door open, assuming that there's going to be a you know, a, a like a broom closet, but instead it's a restroom with a very large male pony <laughs> in it. I immediately slam the door again. <laughs> that pony's gonna be so confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the rest of us. Like, uh, the guy's probably thinking, like, man, she must have really had to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> What is my campaign? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're the one that just um, did the big rewrite. I, I think I did a good job so far. Anyway, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> all right. I am going to call a 15 minute break. Damn it. Wait, real quick, real quick here. When the rubber duckies, uh, can't, like opened it up and the rubber duckies I like to imagine that this is what was uh heard <laughs> <laughs> and then after they quiet down after they quiet down Betty's just sitting there like fuck <laughs> wait ducks bed bath and beyond Marcel Marcel <laughs> Marcel is uh, over there with, uh, with 
fake horse. I'm trying to do CPR and I just hear. <laughs> he like squeezes down for the first Dude. time on Fo's chest, and then he hears. I oh, hear a bad noise, and I'm like looking down at Fo, like what the fuck. Do you, do you guys do you guys want to call the break now or do you want to try to find the ammonia before we call the break? Be. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're back oh, from that 15 minute break. Octi owes me new What's headphones. I liked a video with ducks in it and Hunter's headphones died. Extremely loud. Nazi Zombies was the fucking best game mode ever. I don't care who you are. You owe oh, me... that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, that's Nazi Zombies. What? I'll, I'll tell you. I never who... played Nazi Zombies. I'll tell you. Oh, who oh, I am. I'm God. the guy who you owe new headphones to. I link to the pair that I use all the time. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I use those all the time. Are you real? Yes. They're surprisingly good. You know what's funny? I know you're right because the drivers in them are fine. They're just not great. Like, but, oh, God, Hunter, you could use so, you could use way better headphones than that. I know I could use way better headphones than that, but these are cheap and do what I need them to. Well, I can't fault you for that. All right. Well, I can fault you for everything else. Which is why I'm on my ninth pair. So, all right. So, last we left off, Lydia just stumbled into the washroom on a very large male pony and then slammed the door in his face and apologized for the intrusion. Congratulations. <laughs> you done it. Now, Betty. Yo. So, you're, you're, after after the rubber ducky incident, you you think back to your training and you're like, huh, you, uh, rubber duckies. Uh, uh, bathroom, same people. Bathroom, 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 bathroom beyond. Bathroom beyond. Bathroom beyond. <laughs> bathroom beyond. <laughs> bathroom beyond. What? So you get a plus two on your next roll. Making so that means 10. you have your investigation search plus ten to find the crate that has. The cleaning solution in it to help save Foe's life. Yay! Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Lucky seven's my fucking ass. One, two, three, four. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, well, okay, you know what? Is. Okay. We could go at this for as long as it needs to happen, but eventually you'll find something. So you just <laughs> go over to the next crate and you punch the door and it doesn't budge <laughs> so then you you just daintily open the lock embarrassedly and open the door and it's toilets you're getting closer do i still have that plus two or yes you I still just... have the plus two because you know where okay. you're going now <laughs> after right. my singular roll we could go back to hunter <laughs> you're just... no you get another one. Oh, okay boom one two three Better, but still a Four. It's the same thing. It's the same roll. Oh, come oh on. <laughs> now I find the bath. I'm now getting you, close. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, now you go to the center of the park. You're like, I know it's got to be that one. And you open it. It's the bathtubs. <laughs> the bath Where's the beyond? beyond? <laughs> the beyond is the Windex. <laughs> tell me what to stop rolling. Just roll. Just go. Just do it now. One, one, two, two. Whore. Four. All right, roll again. <laughs> I find the beds. <laughs> I'm getting so close. Getting the same fucking roll every Just time. keep going. Just keep going. Just keep rolling. <laughs> Until one. Uh, oh my god. Roll again. Four. It's not even average. This is what below is average. Fun, though. You are frantically searching. I'm making you roll now. Roll. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Dying cough noise. <laughs> Roll one more time, please. I found the beyond, but there's no Windex. 
I found the beyond. I oh need God, to go the, even further the, beyond. I found a box full of those and symbols. I'm getting close to beyond. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Above average. So, Lydia, after failed attempt after failed attempt, is now frantically running Betty. through the, the Wait, dockyard. Lydia? Sorry, Bed <laughs> Betty is running frantically through the dockyard. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. I got very excited. <laughs> we got the same thing. <laughs> so, okay, let's bring it down. So, Betty goes from container to container. The first container that she checked had rubber ducks. Okay, well, we're in the right spot. Next one was the toilets. Okay, still, we're in the days of the next one was I would just like pads. To, I would just like to point out that it would have been hilarious if every crate that she opened was just rubber ducks. No, here, this, as she was panicking, going from crate to crate, this, this is what you could just hear in her head. No, you can hear... <laughs> I'm sure you can hear it. That was like, <laughs> like in just expletives. No, 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 it was this. I don't know. How many heart How many Oh, oh god damn it, this broke my headphones. So up next Up next, Betty found the beds. So she's got the bed and the bath. We gotta go beyond. So Betty goes to the next container. This has gotta be the beyond container. And it was, it was coffee cups. <gasps> oh here are the coffee mugs. No, not blended tutorial cook glass coffee cups. Yeah, I got uh, yeah, I got your family guy joke there, buddy. Yeah, that's amazing. It's it's a great joke. <laughs> and so after that, it's like, oh we, okay, so we found the beyond, but we haven't found the cleaner. We have to go even further beyond. And Betty to channels infinity. Betty <laughs> channels her inner infinity and goes, and fucking punches through a door and finds the ammonia. Just pure ammonia. <laughs> Just a bottle of 100% ammonia. She Big looked at red it letters on the bottom. Shit, Do not consume. Next. Just huge, huge, big red block letters on the bottom. Do not consume. But we're throwing caution to the wind, baby. And she tears we... off that piece of the label. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't know that it's not edible. Like, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to sniff it. I'm sorry. Who is professional here? Yeah. Dipshit. <laughs> I'm just You're too busy food. terrorizing I'm just the bar. The well, folks at Lydia, home. what? So, so Betty found the ammonia. Lydia, we're going back to you because you don't. Dying know horse noises. <laughs> Lydia, you don't know any of this, so I'm gonna have you roll in. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll investigation again. Okay. You gotta that's search. That's a five. Oh my god! Here wow, another go one. Fantastic. Okay. So you find the women's bathroom. <laughs> I was about to say. So you go. So you go again, and you're like, okay, there's got to be a door here somewhere. And you look to your left and see another door. And again, without looking, you fucking open the door, and there's a female pony in there. And then you <laughs> slam the door again. <laughs> Sorry, but in my defense, these should probably be locked. They should also be labeled. You notice that there yeah, aren't any they labels. They should on also the doors. be labeled. <laughs> Not even a pizza with and without arms. Just nothing. There's nothing there. It's just... So... Alright, Lydia, try again. Search for the ammonia. Or give up. No, and let your I... friend die. No, I rolled... Three. 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 Okay, so this time, after two embarrassing blunders, and... Three. With the, under... with the understand... No, two. Three. You forgot was, the bit with the cash register and That's not an embarrassing well okay it is. It was but, like for me. not because of your but not because of your own ineptitude. For see, once. See, okay. <laughs> so after two embarrassing failures on your behalf, you take a second to think and clear your head and go, that's right, I gotta look for the labels on the door. So you look up and to the right of the 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 mayor's, I guess, powder room, whatever, you find the broom closet. 
and it's right there, employees only, janitor, closet. Wow! And you open it up, and inside you find huh. nothing. Really? Nothing that you understand. Can I There's a up? bunch of weird fucking bottles. Can I roll a perception on that? Or... Uh, so, none of the bottles are labeled. Unmarked bottles of mystery Unmarked fluid. Unmarked bottles are in the broom closet. Sniff for a pneumonia. Mm. For ammonia. Uh, Promptly many? gets high. Um, I would say somewhere around 20. And how big are they? Uh, they range from small flasks to big gallon containers. Mm. <laughs> and there's also a broom and a bucket. I'll ask again. No I mop, roll, though. Can I roll perception on this? Uh, you may roll perception. What are you rolling perception to do specifically? Uh, Remember, perception any, has to do with your senses. Look for any kind of small print labels. Okay. Roll perception. Rolling. You find nothing. Okay, I'm grabbing several small bottles and running out. You fool. You fool. <laughs> Your hubris. No, it's good. All right. Action complete. Michel Colbry. So Lydia runs out. And as she's running, the bartender's like, Thanks for not robbing me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. you have a good night. And so Lydia takes to the skies and flies back to her dying friend. She's who wondering is... what this thing is here. Who drew this? What thing? What thing? Where my thing is. Who drew this? Uh, what is Lydia, that? what thing? This thing right here. Who drew this on the map? Lydia, what thing are you talking about? There's nothing there. Okay, is, there is something back. there, bub. <laughs> That's not it. That was me trying to click it. Yeah, this I think that was right me. Here. Right Apparently. Here. If I can, I can move, move it. I, yeah, I can move my marker there. It goes on top of the marker. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's right there. Lydia, roll willpower. What? Why? <laughs> you remember how you were next to a vent that was expelling salt fumes and you weren't putting anything over your, like, your muzzle? Oh, come on! Remember? <laughs> roll willpower. But why can I move willpower. it? <laughs> Oh, God, did I click the button. Lydia, where's your roll? There, happy. Ha! Huh. <gasps> you get away this time. Yeah, so what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> uh, this thing? Yeah, and why did... Did you draw this? Because I was having an out-of-character moment. As you slowly I saw it come to your senses, you see that there was nothing there at all. The fuck is going on? And you realize, <laughs> oh, holy fuck, I'm high. Oh, fuck you. She has like one of those moments. Her eyes are blood. Shit, am I? Mean, that's why I thought that she was robbing him because she had bloodshot, fucking drunk. She's eyes. high as balls. With with that realization, everything in the past two minutes makes sense. The fact that you couldn't find a closet that the guy told you where it was, and you just right. flung open two doors in public with no rhyme or reason. You realize why you were compelled to do these things. The salt was getting to you. And you were extremely high. And only now do you see the error of your ways. Oh, fuck you. You drew something on the fucking map. No, you don't get it. Lydia can think that all you want. No, you drew something <laughs> on the fucking map. No, fuck you. It's been <laughs> there. It's been there the whole time we've been playing. Yeah, I just haven't asked. Now I'm near the fucking thing. I figure I'll ask. What the fuck is this? Who drew this? No, you we gotta make a fucking you're game high. about it. You were high. No, fuck you. Hey, look, you said it in character, not me. That, that's why there's no bottles. 
like no bottle labels. Not because the guy's in. I said, nothing, who the drew this clean. on the map? Yeah, we're in character. Total out of character bullshit. Lydia's like frantic to herself, just like, what the fuck do you mean? I can't do this game anymore. I can't do this. <laughs> Look, <laughs> things happen in no, the line of asshole. duty. Things happen in the line of duty. Don't worry, no, you didn't inhale no, that no, much. You'll get over being high soon enough. Like, actually, it was okay. I'm gonna be okay. Out of context, that mark has been there since the beginning of the session. Yeah. I haven't touched. I haven't touched anything on the map because I just kind of let you guys draw on it. I didn't care. Yeah. But Who then you the brought attention to it? it. Then you brought attention to it, and I said, "What a fantastic opportunity." <laughs> That's what it means to be a DM or a GM. You, you just you take happens. your opportunities. No, what a fantastic a fan opportunity. A fantastic opportunity to be an asshole. Well, what did it do to you? Yeah, what did yeah it do nothing you? happened. You're just high. Good job, beast. Funny. You're really spying high. Right <laughs> well, it was funny. It was but you're funny. not like, oh, Dean, you're just slightly buzzed. Basically. Yeah, 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 you're, ju was, you're just funny. a little high. Just a little. <laughs> and immediately for, high. And, you know what? Since you were such you like a the good tip of a brownie. <laughs> since you were such a good sport and played along the whole time, I'm gonna give you a style point. Oh, don't fucking bribe me with your petty <laughs> bullshit. I mean, do you not want the style point? No, I want the point for putting up with <laughs> your bullshit. But well, then, because I am the GM and I am so benevolent and nice, you may take a style <laughs> point for being such a good sport. Congrat! Everybody, give him a round of applause. Congratulations. Good job, <laughs> <you did it. laughs>